So I'm going to show you how to solve this problem of long guest repeating character replacement in lead code 424. And it says you are given a, a string s and an integer k. You cannot you can choose any character of the string and change it to any other uppercase English character. You can perform this operation at most k times and return the length of the longest substring containing the same letter uh, you can get after performing the above operations. So we are giving uh, for instance, we have S is equal to A, B, A, B, A, B, okay? And we have K is equal to 2. So we have to do two replacements. So if we take, for instance, we have this to be length of 4, okay? And we have that we can replace A. If we replace A and replace A, we have two replacements and that's enough. If we have another character here C, then we can't perform any other replacement, okay? And the same thing goes and for the second one as well. So initially this seems to be a bit confusing how exactly you can do this, but it's quite easy if you understand the concept of sliding window and also the use of hash map. So the first thing we do is we choose a window and then perform replacement within that sliding window. So how do we know how many replacements we can perform? We can know how many replacements we can perform. For instance, if we look at the second example, it's going to give us A, A, and it's B, A, B, B, A. All right, so let's assume now we choose a window to be this one, okay? And you are told to perform a replacement. You are going to perform one replacement here. And how do we get one? We are going to get one by looking at the number of elements that are the number of items that are called the least number of times. So if we can somehow count the elements that are called the most, like in this case, A are called twice, and we have it somewhere, we have the number of elements that are called the most, and then we are going to simply find this item by taking the window size of 3 minus the number of elements that are called the most. And we're going to find the number of replacements we're going to be making here, and it's 1. And if we check it again, the number of available replacements we have, which is 2, we see that it is in place. So that is the concept we are going to be using. We are going to be using the hash map to store the maximum number of uh, the elements, the number of elements that has the highest count, that's one thing we need. We also need to have some variables that hold our results. And we also need to be calculating our possible replacements. If the replacements are possible, then we perform the replacement. If it's not possible, we simply slide our window across. Okay, so that's the concept we are going to be using. At the end of the day, we are going to now return the result because we are going to be keeping track of the maximum of the of the window that have the the uh, the largest the the highest the, the the largest size. So the code for this is actually quite intuitive and simple uh, to some extent. So let's see. So what we are going to do first, we are going to initialize a dictionary. D is equal to an empty dictionary, and we also need the results. So now let's say the result is equal to. Two, and we need to have the sliding uh, window pointers because we need a left and a right pointer. So I'm going to set the left pointer to be zero. So first we are starting with a window of zero. And now the right pointer is going to now move from the left pointer and sliding across the end of the of the string. So I'm going to say for right, the right pointer moves from uh, range. It's going to be from zero to the length of the string. All right, so at this point, we now have to, because we need to also maintain a hash map of the counts of the number of elements uh, that are occur in a window. So here, here we have a window size of, at this point of, of one, because the both of them are set at index zero, which is here. That is a window size of one. So we are going to place uh, the elements in the, in the in the in the hash map or in the dictionary, I'm using a dictionary here. 
we can also in the same line increment the count of that particular element so the code to do that goes this way so i'm going to say d of the of the current element which is s right is equal to one plus then we are now going to use d dot get and specify the element we want to get is s right and return zero if the element is not uh, there okay so um so this is what we are going to do here and then we are going to start uh checking if our count if we have if we can perform k counts okay so again we say we are going to check the window size minus the total number of items the window size which is three in this case in our example we have the window size of three minus the count of this item here which is two and we are going to check if this is greater than k and then we terminate we more or less do something else so if it's greater than k then it means our window size is not valid it means that we are going to slide across one character across in the window so i'm going to say here while the window size is not valid or the window size becomes invalid when the window size so what's the window size the window size is going to be r minus l plus one so it's going to be left uh, right minus left plus one that's the window size so i'm going to subtract the count so the count of this the element that i'll call the most is going to be maximum of the number of items in the dictionary so it's going to be d dot values and if this value is greater than k in any way this value uh, this um, value gotten here is greater than k in any way then it means that we are going to uh, increase our, our windows uh, we are going to slide by increasing the left pointer by one so it's be plus is equal to one but before we do that we are going to remove this the first item we are going to decrement it because we are sliding across here we are going to remove that item from the dictionary more or less not remove it but decrement the count because we are sliding across in the window so to decrement the count you are going to simply say d of the item because this item now is the is having a left index uh, uh, minus minus is equal to is equal to one okay uh let me just make sure um yeah this is correct okay so this is what we do uh inside this while loop so at the end of the at the end of each for loop okay at the end of each for loop we are going to now uh increment the result although this cannot be true this should be set to zero we are going to increment our results uh, to be the maximum of the current result and the window size so i'm going to now uh, set the result to be max of the current result and the window size which is right minus left plus one so this is what we have uh, here and this should be it uh, actually this goes inside the for loop so i'm going to move it inside the for loop and outside the for loop i'm simply going to return the results so let me just return results outside the for loop so this is basically it i think it should be uh, correct at this time so let me just do a, a little bit of check here um so max result left minus right plus one okay max of these values so, so i'm going to now run this code and let's see what we have and you can see that it is accepted and it worked well let's now submit just to make sure it worked as well and you can see that it worked you can see runtime isn't so bad and it's faster than for the 6.03 of submissions online memory usage is 14.4 mb less than 24.27 percent so this is the solution to the to this challenge and i would like to stop here um, 
please if you find this to be informative please subscribe to my channel and also if you have some challenge you would like me to crack for you please let me know in the comment box below i remain kind on the tech pro and i'm always there for you